Hey guys, Kirby here. Uh, this is just gonna be a quick little video addressing some of the information I gave in a review I did on the Dayton Audio DTA120BT audio amp uh, I put out earlier today. Uh, in the review, I said this amp was rated at 0.01% THD at 40 watts. Not a great, but a better indicator of an amp's quality is THD or total harmonic distortion. And in the case of these amps, we're talking about a THD of under 0.01% at about 30 to 40 watts, and that's great. <laughs> you would really have to crank this guy and upset some neighbors to hear distortion with this amp. And although that number is stated in the product manual, it is incorrect. <laughs> um, and it's incorrected, incorrected? It's incorrect by a lot, actually. Towards the end of the manual, you'll find the correct THD of around 10% at 60 watts per channel. Uh, they don't state the actual THD of this amp at 40 watts, but this is definitely not anywhere close to 0.01%, like I said. Uh, and the same mistake can actually be found in the DTA 120 amp, the original amp I was talking about in that review as well. I reached out to Dayton Audio over at Parts Express and they've confirmed that the information in the manual is incorrect and it will be corrected. So yes, the information given was incorrect, but this is totally my fault. Um, you're here all trusting me to give correct information in my reviews and I let you down. Um, I am sorry for that. Since I don't yet have the tools to conduct my own technical tests of this detail on these amps, uh, I'm left trusting the manufacturers and everyone makes mistakes. I'm making this video because one, I, I don't want anyone out there to buy this amp based on my review, thinking that they're getting a low distortion amp or ultra low, low distortion amp. Um, and trust is important. Uh, if you guys don't trust me, my reviews mean nothing. And in a situation like this, uh, I'm not gonna just brush it under the rug and pretend like nothing happened. I'm gonna do my best to address the mistake, give you the correct information, and let you guys decide what to do from there. That being said, I will try to be more detail-oriented moving forward and do as much of my own technical research as I'm able. If you're wondering if I still recommend this amp, I do. Um, it's not like I've been listening to a different amp this whole time from what you would receive if you purchased it, um, and it does sound great. Uh, but depending on what you're looking for, this information might change if this amp is right for you. All right, it's a bummer having to make a video like this, and I hope I don't have to make many in the future. Um, but thank you all for watching. I, I do want to thank uh, the commenter and viewer Got Memes for first putting this out to me. I really appreciate that. Thank you. All right, that's it. I'll see you guys next week.